Welcome to sciencecover.com. Pause the video and try the do now task. Let's check our answers to the do now task. First answer was joules. Second answer was gravitational. Third was kinetic. Fourth was sound and the fifth was thermal. In this lesson we will look at energy and efficiency. We'll cover what is efficiency, how to calculate the efficiency and rearranging the efficiency equation. Let's start by looking at what we mean when we talk about efficiency. Efficiency is a measure of how much of a device's energy gets used for what it is supposed to be used for. For example, what fraction of a light bulb's energy is actually used to make light, or what fraction of a kettle's energy is used to make heat. Efficiency is usually stated as a decimal number between zero and one. Zero being a device where all the energy is wasted and one being a perfect device where no energy is wasted. No device is really perfect. So most objects will get an efficiency somewhere between zero and one. The higher being the better. This toaster will turn electrical energy into light and heat. Heat is useful but light is not. Therefore, the toaster will get a higher efficiency number, closer to one, if it produces more heat and less light. To calculate efficiency, we can use the efficiency equation. Efficiency is the useful energy in joules divided by the total energy in joules. Efficiency has no unit, this is because the useful energy and total energy are both measured in joules. So the unit for efficiency is joules per joule, which simply equals one. Now pause the video and attempt task one. Let's check our answers to task one. Write the efficiency equation. Efficiency is useful energy divided by the total energy. Why does efficiency not have a unit? The useful energy is measured in joules and the total energy is measured in joules. So the efficiency has the unit joule per joule, which cancels out so it has no unit. Which is the useful energy type given off by these devices? A kettle would give off heat or thermal, an electric heater would give off heat or thermal, a light bulb would give off light, toaster should give off heat or thermal, a speaker should give off sound, and a television should give off light and sound. So that last one has two useful energy types. Let's look at an example of how to use the equation. A kettle uses 2000 joules of energy to boil the water inside of it. If 1200 joules has become heat and 800 joules has become sound, how efficient is the kettle? Well, the first thing we need to do is to write the equation. The efficiency is the useful energy divided by the total energy. Now the useful energy in this case, because it's a kettle, will be the heat energy. So there's 1,200 joules of heat. And the total energy that went into the kettle was 2,000 joules. So we can substitute those numbers in place of the words in the equation. So now we have the efficiency is 1,200 divided by 2,000. This will give us 0 
and since there's no unit we can just leave the answer as 0.6. Let's look at a second example. A car engine burns 2 million joules of chemical energy on a journey. 50,000 joules of this has become kinetic energy. How efficient was the car? Well, again, the first thing to do is to write the equation. The efficiency is the useful energy divided by the total energy. Now, in this case, a car engine is expected to produce movement with the car, so our 50,000 joules is our useful energy and our 2 million joules is our total energy. So 50,000 divided by 2 million will give us 0 0.025. Now pause the video and attempt task 2. Let's check our answers to task two. Calculate the efficiency of a kettle that uses 100 joules of energy converting 40 joules to sound and 60 joules to heat. So the efficiency is the useful energy divided by the total energy. So useful energy in this case is 60 joules divided by the total energy was 100 joules. So 60 divided by 100 is 0.6. Calculate the efficiency of a bus that turns 300 joules of petrol into 100 joules of kinetic energy, 50 joules of sound, and 150 of heat. The efficiency is the useful energy divided by the total energy. Since this is a bus, the useful energy is kinetic, so that's 100 joules, divided by the total energy, which was 300. So 100 divided by 300 gives us 0 0.33. A watch that turns 20 joules of chemical energy from battery into 19 joules of kinetic energy and 1 joule of sound. So the efficiency is the useful energy divided by the total. So 19 joules of kinetic energy is the useful energy. And our 20 joules is what is going in, so that's the total. So 19 divided by 20 is 0.95. Some devices have more than one useful type of energy. A TV uses electrical energy and changes it into light, heat and sound. But both light and sound are useful on the TV, whereas the heat is wasted. So to work out the total useful energy, we should add together the light and the sound. In this example, we have 20 joules of light being given off. 15 joules of heat being given off and 15 joules of sound being given off, whereas we'd placed into the TV 50 joules of electrical energy. So to calculate the efficiency, we use the efficiency equation, useful energy divided by the total energy. Now the useful energy is both the light and the sound, so we've got 20 joules of light plus 15 joules of sound, which gives us 35 joules of energy. The total energy in was 50 joules of electrical energy, so we're doing 35 divided by 50, and this gives us 0 0.7. We'll pause the video and try task 3. Let's check our answers to task 3. Calculate the efficiency of a TV that uses 150 joules of energy and turns 100 into light, 20 joules into sound and 30 joules into heat. So the efficiency is the useful energy divided by the total energy. The useful energy is the 100 of light and the 20 of sound. So 100 plus 20 is 120 and divide that by the 150 joules that goes into the TV and that gives us 0.8. Calculate the efficiency of a mobile phone, which turns 20 joules of chemical energy from a battery into 10 joules of light, 3 joules of heat and 7 joules of sound. So the efficiency is the useful energy divided by the total energy. In this case, for a mobile phone, it will be the light energy that is useful and also the sound energy. So that's 10 plus 7. So we have 17 joules of useful energy divided by 20, which is the total energy 
gives us 0 0.85 as an efficiency. The efficiency equation is really just a comparison, a ratio comparing the useful energy produced against what we started with. This ratio stays the same no matter what time period we measure it over. So if we look at the energy over one second, then we can change the equation to become the efficiency is the useful energy per second over the total energy per second. Now energy per second is actually the power. So again, we can change the equation to become the useful power divided by the total power. Pause the video and complete task four. Let's check our answers to task 4. An oven uses 4 watts of electrical energy and produces 2 watts of heat and 1 watt of light and 1 watt of sound. Calculate the efficiency of the oven. So if efficiency is the useful power over the total power, then we're looking at 2 watts of heat divided by 4 watts of electrical energy. So 2 over 4 is 0.5. The crane lifts a car into the air. The crane lifts a car with a power of 800 watts, but draws 1,200 watts of power from the main supply. How efficient is the crane? So the useful power here was 800, and the total power was 1,200. So 800 divided by 1,200 is 0.66. We had to fill the values in on the table for efficiency, so the kettle was 0 0.8, the lamp was 0 0.75, the fridge was 0 0.9, the freezer was 0 0.75, the washer was 0 0.875, the dryer was 0 0.9, and the toaster was 0 0.5. Which is the most efficient? It will be the fridge or the dryer. Which is the least efficient? It was the toaster.